Advent is a really, really, really good time to be intentional for your family team to point them towards Jesus. What's up, guys? Jeff and Jeremy here. Welcome back to another five-minute fatherhood. Uh, Today, we want to talk about Advent, and we're going to give you quick kind of bullet-pointed Advent traditions. So for us, this is going to be five Advent traditions that you can do to level up your family. Jeremy, what are the first couple? Yeah, guys. So it's this is such an awesome opportunity to bring meaning into the family. One that we've really enjoyed as a family for a lot of years is a little book you can go on Amazon and find. It's called Jotham's Journey, and it's a really cool Advent mm. book where you read a chapter a night. What I really like about this book is it immerses your children in first century Jewish family. And so you see all kinds of different traditions that the family had, all kinds of different communities. This kid basically uh, is searching for his family, ends up, of course, in Bethlehem on Christmas night or the night that Jesus was born. Um, But it's a great little uh, journey that you can go on with your family. So we've done that a lot of years. There's actually a few books in that series that we have. We only did the first one, which was uh, Jotham's Journey. So that's J-O-T-H-A-M, Journey. Um, another one that, so we, we're having a great conversation in a homeroom, and one that a lot of homeroomies, our, our friends who are in our homeroom, our membership site are doing, is they they mm. wrap 24 books, uh, like uh, picture books for their kids, put it under the tree, and they pick one out every single night leading up to Christmas. And so this allows them to not just have like that one shot when you're talking yeah. about the meaning of Christmas, uh, maybe on Christmas Eve, but it's like it's happening 24 times. And there are so many books about Christmas that this can actually be done. A lot of people are going to secondhand stores or even going to the library and checking out the books, wrapping them, putting them under the tree. Um, lots of yeah. creative ways to save money and still do this, but I love that one. The other one that really stood, stood out to me, we haven't done this one, but I, I love this idea. Was just some, there was a number of people who would take 24 stories from the Jesus Storybook Bible, and so they just immerse their kids in Jesus for all the different times leading up through Advent to Christmas Day. So those are three ideas, if you guys don't have any right now, uh, that you can try. Jeff, what are you guys trying? Yeah, so there's a couple that we really like. Um, the first one is Ann Voskamp's resources, if people are familiar. The reason I like that is I feel like she's it's great for, she has a basically a normal Advent devotional for like adults. So me and Alyssa use that one for reading it every kind of morning in December. But then she also has this cool like pop-up book um, that looks like a children's book. When you open it, it, it opens up to a big tree. And then there's 25 little ornaments in there that each have like a tiny little, you know, couple sentence devotional or truth that then you kind of talk about in a verse and then you hang it up on the tree. So it's a really cool uh, thing. The kids love it. It's really tactile. It's really functional and they love it. So that one, another one that we really like doing, uh, we haven't done every single year, but we've done a lot is Alyssa will kind of write up, uh, she'll make like homemade ornaments with like names of God. Um, and kind of like all the different names he has in the scripture. Uh, and then we kind of each night we'll talk about that and then hang it up on there. And so I think that's a really, really cool one. And then kind of ending then with the ones on, you know, what we see in Isaiah and then uh, the Advent and the Gospels of like, you know, Counselor and Emmanuel and, and him coming. And so it's kind of fun to end on that version of the story. So yeah, that's what I would say. And wherever you're at, think, uh, take advantage of this time. Advent is a really, really, really good time to be intentional for your family team to point them towards Jesus.